conversation. Yeah. Look at Molly Lean, combo number three. Look me in my eyes, tell me what you see. Young nigga about racks and bands. Combine that and flex on Instagram. Goddamn, double cup, double cup, pull me up, let me begin. Fuck is you saying? Tell me I beat it, I wake up and do it again. Combo. Make your face do the George Condo. My flow, Pablo, Picasso, I know. I'ma pull up on your gate, what's the combination? I got my friends, you got your friends, it's a compilation. Come and take a trip with me, let's go on vacation. Hundreds, fifties, twenties, what a combination. Yeah, pull up on the scene, pull up with my team. And I'm on three things, what the fuck you mean? Purple, white, and green, purple, white, and green. I ain't never going back to broke again. Okay, What's up? I put up with my team, you brought joy, that's a combination. She hit my line, back to back, that's a combination. Broke the dough down to the game, had the combination. Got the juice, that why you clunk for some conversation. Okay, I put up with my team, you brought joy, that's a combination. She hit my line, back to back, that's a combination. Okay, you thirsty hoe. Broke the dough down to the game, had the combination. I got it. Got the juice, that why you clunk for some conversation. That's a combo. Born rich and cool club, that's a combination. Good combo. Damn, I hit the streets hard, that shit feel amazing. Big hater. You players all up in my congregation. Megan. Church, priest, cathedral. Woo, combination. Woo, woo. Me without no money, that's a complication. That's a problem. Justification, we make plans, but I'm steady Our flaking. Put money. you in rotation, hit the molly, rolling lightning, saving. Rolling, rolling. Ain't no shrimp and lobster steaking. Boo, you got this shit mistaken. This shit up. Hit that Burger King, let you get in the combination. So crazy. <laughs> Underground Grammy, where my nomination? Hey, what you say? Uh, Underground Grammy, where my nomination? Yeah. Everything in moderation. What? Except for what we blazing, yeah. Matt. Pull up on the scene, pull up with my team. And I'm on three things, what the fuck you mean? Purple, white, and green, purple, white, and green. I ain't never going back to broke again. Okay, What's I up? put up with my team, you brought joy, that's a combination. She hit my line, back to back, that's a combination. Broke the dough down to the game, had the combination. Got the juice, that's why you clung for some conversation. 1317 Savages in the building. We got the beautiful Butter Pecan. The cool, the cool, the coolest man. My boy, Quentin Miller. P. Goody, the too goody. Pearl B. Trippin'. And of course, the one and only Coach Cam. 1317 Savages. One for all and all for one. We down the ball, so roll up one. And the blunt is on me. Gas tank is on E. But these bitches is fucking for free. So go ahead and fuck with me. Uh, Woman Wednesday And happy uh, Woman Wednesday to all the ladies out there Uh, The number to the show is 404-382-0338 You can also email me at Doug at thedougstewartshow.com Don't forget as well uh, If you want some of this trivia uh, You can call the show as well and get down with this trivia What's the answer Wednesday as well It's not replacing Woman Wednesday it's not. It's, we're not trying to do that at all. It's not replacing Woman Wednesday. It's just. It's just enhancing Woman Wednesday. So if you want to get some trivia, call the show four zero four three eight two zero three three eight. Um. Couple of little NFL news and notes, man. Football news and notes. Jamal Charles. Uh, has been deemed healthy by the Denver Broncos, man, and he inked the deal uh, on Tuesday. The deal is worth up to $3.75 million. Uh, Sources are saying Charles, who played in just three games last season because of knee trouble, spent much of his Tuesday at the Broncos complex in suburban Denver as he was given an extensive exam by the team's medical staff. 
He later posted pictures on Twitter that he said he's proud to be a Bronco. He's had four 100-yard rushing games against the Broncos in his career, including a 259-yard effort during the 2010 season. This man went for 259 yards back in 2010 against the Denver Broncos. Now he is a Denver Bronco. Um, Knee injuries really has uh, stymied this guy's career, man. Uh, I'm wishing him nothing but success. I think he's... I think he's torn... You know, an ACL in both knees. In both knees, he's torn an ACL. I think he even had issues coming out of college uh, that he had he had knee issues. So, wishing nothing but success for uh, for Charles, and uh, hopefully he can get it done for Jamal Charles. Uh, also in the NFL, the Buffalo Bills chose to decline Sammy Watkins' fifth year contract option for the 2018 season. The team announced on Tuesday. Buffalo was required to make the decision on Watkins before Wednesday. Uh, had the team exercised his option, Watkins would have been scheduled to earn $13.258 million in 2018. Watkins, the fourth overall selection in the 2014 draft, will now enter the final season of his four-year rookie deal. Uh, Watkins, 23, missed eight games last season because of lingering soreness from a broken left foot that required surgery last offseason. Watkins underwent a second surgery in his foot in January and is expected to be ready for training camp. Um, he underwent hip surgery during the 2015 offseason and was also limited by a broken uh, rib as a rookie in 2014. Mm, man, you know, if you watch Sammy Watkins at Clemson, man, this dude had world-class speed. And, uh, I mean, he's shown it a little bit in the NFL, but he just always hurt. And it's crazy how some people are always hurt and some people like Barry Sanders and Emmitt Smith, even though they were smaller backs in relative terms to a lot of other guys, like they never got injured. Like health is a, is a, is a, is a trait. Being able to stay healthy and I guess your body like put together well and your, your, your tendons and your ligaments and everything real tight, you know, and you avoid injuries by cutting and whatnot, man, and taking hits is just, it's an asset. And some people got it, some people don't. Um, and so Sammy Watkins, man, uh, hopefully he can have a big year this year and he can redo a deal and get bigger money from the Buffalo Bills or whoever else in free agency after next year. But Buffalo's like, nah, we ain't trying to pay you that amount of money in your fifth year. So he declined his option. One other thing I wanted to mention, football-related, Nick Saban was given a three-year extension During a vote of Alabama's Board of Trustees on Tuesday morning, Saban will receive a $4 million signing bonus and make $6.75 million in salary this year. Yeah, right. Uh, he gets another 400000 bonus for completing the season, bringing his total compensation for the year of $11.25 million. Uh, he has completion bonuses in each year of the contract, culminating in a $3.6 million payout after the 2021 season before, before going back uh, down to four hundred grand per year in subsequent seasons. Uh, here's a quote. Terry, uh, who's actually Nick Saban's wife, and I are pleased – and happy to agree to the contract extension the University of Alabama has offered us, ensuring our time here in Tuscaloosa will continue for many more years. Uh, this has become our home, and we are looking forward to finishing our career at Alabama. I want to thank President Stuart Bell, uh, Greg Byrne, our athletic administration, football staff, and entire university community for all this support, which has been instrumental in the success of our organizations. This is crazy, man. Saban is the second highest paid coach in annual compensation in college football behind Michigan's Jim Harbaugh, who had his salary increased to $9 million per year last October. Uh, According to USA Today's database, Ohio State's Urban Meyer is third among college football coaches on compensation at roughly $6 million per year. 
Oklahoma's Bob Stoops and Florida State's Jimbo Fisher round out the top five. Uh, Jimbo need a raise, uh, period. If you're talking about in relative terms to these other cats, would Jimbo Fisher or would uh, or would Dabo Sweeney? Did I say Jimbo? I meant Dabo. Dabo Sweeney needs a raise. You know, even though he you know got a lot of racist uh, commentary, uh, you talk about changing a program around and making it into one of the elite. If you're giving all of these cats six and nine million dollars a year, Dabo Sweeney needs to be uh, Dabo needs to be making that type of money. Uh, Oklahoma's Bob Stoops and Florida State's Jimbo Fisher once again round up the top five. Listen to this, and you're listening to the Doug Sewer Show. New offensive coordinator Brian DeBall, who was most recently the tight ends coach with the New England Patriots, will make $1.2 million annually through 2020 for the coordinator. The coordinator is making over a million dollars. Defensive coordinator Jeremy Pruitt will make $1.3 million this season and be given a raise of 100000 in each of the next two seasons. Co-defensive coordinator, outside linebackers coach, a position coach, Tosh Lupoy, was given a raise from five hundred fifty grand to nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That'll tell you how much they respect and love and honor their football in Alabama. <laughs> Damn! Crazy. And listen, man, I, I always talk about how I feel like these college players, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I always feel like how these college players, man, they should they should get paid. Like, clearly they should get paid. It's a, it's a racket. It's a scam that college athletes, in particular football players and basketball players, don't get paid. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't think that these coaches are worth the money that they're getting as well. Like, Alabama made, or uh, I saw a stat, I heard somebody say, maybe it was on the Puppet Factory, that the Alabama football program made billions of dollars last year for the school. Billions. When you talk about everything that comes from the football program and being a winning football program, uh, they've done tremendous. And you can't – listen, if you're a historical program like Alabama and you've had a couple of rough years, remember the Mike Shula years? What was the name of that other coach, the old cat that was out there, you know, uh, buying hookers and whatnot? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try to look his name up real quick here. But if you if you remember those years where Alabama was down, I mean, it's not fun. It, it's not fun at all. And so some of the down years when they had those NCAA restrictions, um, uh, it wasn't fun being an Alabama football fan. And so now they're back on top, man, and they paying these cats like they – like, they really, really thank them. <laughs> like, they're very appreciative. Uh, oh, the coach was Mike uh, Mike Price. You remember when Mike Price was – he didn't – I don't even think he even coached. I think he got the job, and he was about – right, he didn't even coach. Uh, Mike Price got the job and got fired because of some controversy. Then they had Mike Shula, and they had Joe Kines for a year, and then they got back on track. With uh, Nick Saban, even if you go back before Mike Price, Dennis Francione, uh, Mike DeBose. I mean, they were okay, uh, but they weren't Alabama football, which is one of the top programs in the country, man. So these cats, hey, uh, it's all about football in Alabama, man. And um, they show in love with their pockets. Yeah, yeah, with they, uh, with they, with their money, with their money. Let me read some messages in the chat room on Spreaker dot com from uh, T Dub in the chat chat room. He says we built this shit for free, college football players. Yeah, for free, which is crazy. From Casa, so this year TDSS will be fighting, racing, and hotel rib cooking. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm not going to race no damn Tiffany in no race. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I was just joking. I get out there and I race Tiffany and she beat me and I, I can't win no matter what. Fuck that. 
Race is off. Race is off. I go out there and I dust Tiffany's ass like I...